Everyone loves the beauty of compound interest whenever it comes to money. So how does compound interest work? Well, let's take a look at this equation. So we're gonna consider an initial principal, that's gonna be P, deposited into an account that pays interest at an annual rate represented by R, and that is as a decimal, uh, compounded N times per year. So the amount A in the account after T years is given by this equation. So we see A is equal to P times one plus R divided by N raised to the NT power. So A is our amount that's gonna be in the account. P is our initial amount that we're putting in or the principal amount. R is the, the interest rate. And a lot of times that's given like, hey, 5% interest rate. So, but when we write it in our equation, we're gonna write that as 0 0.05 as a decimal. N is the number of times that the interest is compounded per year. So that could be daily. So N would be 365. That could be monthly, so N would be 12. That could be quarterly, so N would be four. Um, or if it's just annually, N would be one, and basically that would go away. Um, T is our time in years, so if we're trying to figure out how much money would be in this account after 15 years, then T would be 15. So we're gonna look at a couple examples today in this video and see kind of how much money would be in the account or how much interest are we actually gaining um, in a set amount of time. So example one says we are going to deposit $8,600 at a 1.32% interest rate that's compounded quarterly, and we just wanna find the balance after four years. So we know our equation, we have A is equal to P, so this is gonna be 8,600 times one plus R divided by N. Well, my interest rate is 1.32, so if I write that as a decimal, it'd be 0.0132 and then divided by N. Well, N is the number of times we're compounding, so quarterly says this should be four. And we're gonna raise this to now the NT. Well, N, once again, is four. And then time is actually going to be four as well. Okay, so now in our calculator, we can kind of do, uh, you know, I don't like to type all this in my calculator at once. I feel like that gives me opportunity to make a mistake in my calculator. So I kind of like to do it at uh, one step at a time. So what I like to do first is divide my rate. So 0 0.0132, and I like to divide that by four. And then I add one to that. Okay, so now, now I have this, 8,600 times 1.0033. And then we can simplify that to the power of 16. So now what I like to do is raise this to the power of 16. So now in my calculator, A is equal to 8,600 times 1.054, um, and that decimal continues on. So I'm gonna leave that decimal in my calculator. I'm just kind of simplifying or rounding it on the screen. Um, and so now I'm gonna multiply this by 8,600, and that's gonna give me my final balance. So my account balance, and now this is to the dollar, so I'm gonna round this to the nearest hundredth. So this is 9,000. $65.49. So that would be the balance in the account after four years. All right, for number two, let's take a look and do the same thing. So it says deposit is $2,200. We have a 3% interest rate, but this time we're compounding it monthly and we wanna find the balance after six years, okay? So the amount in the account is equal to the principal, so 2,200 times one plus the rate, which is 3%, so that'd be 0 0.03. Now we are compounding monthly. Well, how many months are there in a year? That'd be 12. And then we're gonna raise it to the NT, so 12 times six, okay? So once again, I like to do this step by step. So I'm gonna do 0 0.03 and divide that by 12. And I'm gonna add one to that. So we get 2,200, and then in parentheses, 1.00. To five, and that's gonna be raised to the power of 72. So now my calculator, I'm gonna raise that to the power of 72. So we get A is equal to 2,200 times 1.1969. And like I said, that continues on in my calculator and I'm gonna leave that in my calculator so I can get the most exact answer. Now let's multiply this by 2,200. So A is equal to, and this would be 2,000, $633.29, okay? And so what we did there was we found the balance in the account after X amount of years or T amount of years. So there's, you know, depending on what the question says, it might ask you to do this or it might ask you how much interest are you earning, right? So if we think about that for number two, we'd say, okay, well, 
my initial deposit was 2,200 and the account balance is $2,633.29. So to figure out how much interest we made, we just subtract our initial deposit, our principal amount, by the amount that's in the account after uh, this set amount of time, and the difference would be the interest that we've earned, okay? And that's how you can use compound interest to figure out the amount in a balance, or the balance of an account after a certain amount of years.